At this time, for the um, employment agreement with Melinda Reed. Wait, pause. How did we get to this point? Let's rewind and start from the beginning. How it all started, the interim city manager dilemma. February 3rd, 2020, Ana Cortez is released as Helena's city manager. After her second paid administrative leave due to complaints of harassment, Ana Cortez reached a mutual agreement with Helena's city commission, terminating her contract. She receives $160,000 along with a letter of reference in exchange for her resignation. February 14th, 2020, Ed Meese is considered for interim city manager. He is the former city manager of Livingston who resigned in 2015 as the city was considering terminating him, but is still recommended by Helena City staff according to city documents. A special meeting is called for February 19th, 2020 to discuss and vote whether to offer him the interim city manager position. February 19th, 2020, the special meeting to consider Ed Meese is canceled. Question, who canceled the meeting? Shortly after, the Human Resources Department is called to start accepting applications from interested individuals for the City Commission to interview and select the best candidates for the interim city manager position. Question: Who called upon HR to accept applications? Meanwhile, 10 individuals apply for the position. Among the applicants, only former director of the Friendship Center, Melinda Reed, is considered and a special meeting is called for March 9th to offer her the interim position while the rest of the applicants are disregarded. March 5th, 2020. New Commissioner Sean Logan expresses his concerns on Facebook as to why he and Emily Dean were not included in the decision. But there's a great deal about this process that I don't understand. Commissioner Dean and I were not a part of many decisions that were made about the selection of an interim city manager. Going back to the contract offered to Ed Meese, to the canceling of the public discussion about whether or not to accept that contract. After that, a decision was made by whom I don't know to accept material from interested individuals through our human resources department. At last Wednesday's administrative meeting of the commission, there was an expectation on the part of staff and of at least two commissioners that we would be publicly discussing the merits of those individuals who had expressed interest. We were told that the public discussion would occur at tonight's regular meeting. Again, who made that decision, I don't know. The next day, we found out the agenda item for discussion at tonight's meeting is whether or not to approve a contract, Melinda Reed. There were at least two commissioners who were left out of that decision as well. This is not transparent governance. I'm going to be recommending the appointment of Melinda Reed to serve as interim city manager. Question, why were Logan and Dean not informed by the mayor of his recommendation? March 9th, 2020, Melinda Reed is hired despite split vote. On a three to two vote, Melinda Reed is hired as the new interim city manager. Commissioners Logan and Dean express how they were not included in this process. Several citizens express their concern claiming the commission is corrupt and breaking the law by not including the public and by making predetermined decisions behind closed doors. Question, why the lack of transparency? Um, I ask you to step back and not make a decision yet until you have an inclusive process. Regardless of any perceived deadline to appoint an interim city commissioner, that date seems to be not as crucial as reassuring Helena citizens that this commission's actions are open, transparent, and legal. As you hear tonight many people talking about why this is an indictment of a process and not a person. Get your process straight so whoever the person is that you select, again, does not, like has been mentioned, have to fight back against why that process was bad. Pure corruption, is it not? I mean, what else can you call that? What else can you call the fact that you don't meet with two other commissioners that 10,000 people voted for? How is that right? I would argue that that outcome of today's vote has been predetermined. The Commission has painted itself into a corner by putting off a public discussion until the very last minute while pushing up against critical decision deadlines for whomever the inner city manager is to be. We must insist on deliberations in an open and as a full Commission. But really the larger issue here is that the public has been deprived of its constitutional right to participate in their government and the public has been deprived of their right to know of the deliberations of their government. Question, 
who's pulling the strings? Leave a comment and tell us your thoughts. More videos are coming soon.